Adults on the autism spectrum who are fully conversational often have great advice for both parents and professionals helping kids on any end of the spectrum. So today we are getting some advice from Ron Sanderson, who is um, an adult on the spectrum. Hi there, I'm Dr. Mary Barbera, autism mom, behavior analyst, and best-selling author. Each week, I provide you with some of my ideas about turning autism or signs of autism around. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do that now. Today, we're sharing a small excerpt from a podcast interview I did with Ron Sanderson, an autistic individual who has been married for a decade, has a daughter, is gainfully employed 40 hours a week for 15 years, never missed a day of work. Um, And so he provides a lot of wisdom, not just to help people who are fully conversational, but also to help um, kids and young adults like my son who um, has moderate to severe autism and needs 24-7 care. So let's share that excerpt now. You have a couple of autism books and you have one coming out in 2023. So why don't you tell us about your two autism books that you have now, what they're about, and then your new book. Yeah. So my first book was A Parent's Guide to Autism, Practical Advice, Biblical Wisdom, published by Charisma House, which is the third biggest Christian publisher. It was one of the top selling Christian books all time on autism. And while writing, I interviewed 50 of the most famous people working in the autism field and 50 real unique people on the autism spectrum. I share advice on parenting and also how to help a child thrive on the spectrum. And I use the insight I got from the professionals I interviewed and the parents and the young adults I interviewed. People like Alexis Weinman, Miss Montana, and Clay Marzo, the pro surfer, and Temple Grand, and all the great advice I've gotten from her over the years. And my goal with my three books is to cover every age period of life. This begins with diagnosis, and even though it goes on to adulthood, it focuses more on that, developing those skills while a child is young. My Third right, book. So that, so that first book is A Parent's Guide to Autism? Is that the yeah, name? Yeah, Practical Parents Advice, to... Biblical Wisdom. Okay. And now and your my, second book. My second one was on Theology, St. Augustine, and it's okay. Thought Choice Action. So it sounds more like a movie than a book on theology. And then my third book, which is on autism, is Views from the Spectrum, A Window in the Life and Faith of Your Neurodivergent Child. And for this book, I focus more on the teenage years, and I share 20 amazing people on the autism spectrum, their stories with um, devotional. Because a lot of times, as a kid with autism, can have that hopeless complex. When parents are told their kid are autistic, a lot of times they feel hopeless. And my books offer hope. This book gives parenting advice, and it shares 20 unique people on the autism spectrum, people like Armani William, a NASCAR driver, Tarko, pro baseball player, Rachel Barcelona, who is Miss Tampa, and, and many Rachel, others. Rachel has own. been on our show, too. We can link her in the show notes. She had a really great interview. So that's awesome. And now yeah, and she's an amazing person. Yeah. I got to go out to Tampa in August of last year. Oh, neat, neat. Yeah, she seems really nice. So, and now your newest book that's coming out in 2023, what's that called and what's that about? So I never know the titles of my books. Oh. (laughs) I just know what the topic is because every time I write a book, the publisher comes up with a new title for my book. So it's on autism growth and transitioning into adulthood. And I interviewed over 100 people who are on the autism spectrum and gainfully employed. And I interviewed over 50 professionals who work with young adults with autism and helping them gain those skills for employment. And Dr. Barry, the author of Uniquely Human, A Different Way of Seeing Autism, he did the foreword already for the book. And I got endorsements from well-known people who work in the autism spectrum. But my goal with this book is to change the employment status of people with autism. In the United States, currently, only 3% of people with autism are gainfully employed as I am. 80% of people with autism have never had a job or they're unemployed. 
and only about 10% currently in the United States are employed at all. And many of those, about 7% of them are not gainfully employed. So you're so saying very three, little amount of people employed. 3% are gainfully gainfully employed, employed wow. making three, good money. Wow. Okay. So where you could have a house, where you could have a family. And That's up to my 10% are employed, are employed in some in some respect, but capacity, yeah, like yeah. working, bagging groceries. And that's a another story. My mom used, she was inspired by Proverbs 22 29. Do you see a man skilled in his labor? He was served before kings, he will not serve before obscure men. And when I entered kindergarten in special education, they had a two teacher rule. You had one in the back of the room, one at the front. The one in the front made sure you wouldn't escape through the front door, the one in the back made sure you didn't make a MacGyver exit through the back door. My mom said, you're not educating people, you're babysitting young adults with autism. And she said, if he's babysat and not taught, best he's going to be is bagging groceries. Best he's going to be is a bellboy holding the door open or washing dishes. And he said, if I can get those skills, he'll serve before kings and not obscure men. And even when I did my internship in college, I did it under the world-renowned Dr. Jack Van Impe he had more Bible verses memorized in the world than anyone else. Time of his death, he had spoken live to over 10 million people. And he took me right under his wing when he saw my talent. And Temple Grandin says it best. Talent attracts mentors. And I have over 15,000 Bible verses memorized. And that's what made him mentor me and let me be his first intern for his international ministry. Wow. And um, wow. Well, my mom did two things that every person on the autism spectrum um, who's super successful his parents did or someone did in their life. Number one, she believed in me. She saw a gift and said, if I can refine that gift, he'll be, he'll be serving me for kings and not obscure men. Number two, she knew how to market my gifts. She taught me how to market and be an entrepreneur. And that helped me to be able to go away to college and get my master's degree. And you look at people like Temple Grand and Grant Manier, the great artist, their parents saw that gift and they realized how to market it. Armani Williams, a NASCAR driver, his dad was able to, and mom were able to market that fact or that passion for NASCAR driving. And now he has sponsors, which good marketers get, mm -hmm. or Clay Marzel, yeah. the surfer. And, and, you know, I love, I love that somebody that believes in you and then somebody that helps you learn how to market your skills. Like even for Lucas who needs 24 seven care, like he always had me and his father believing in him and even, you know, marketing, like he goes to the food bank to volunteer with, with uh, a worker, you know, with him that doesn't happen just, by chance that happens mm -hmm. by us going us saying can he come here this is how it would go oh he can't really sit through the training and understand all the rules but his hab worker could sit through the training and get certified as a you know like there needs to be yeah. some give and take that he's a very good volunteer but he doesn't have the comprehension skills to you know, pass a test or, or sit through an orientation for two hours and learn about being a good volunteer. Like he doesn't understand that. So this really does apply your, your two things that yeah. an adult successful is, is even if they are higher support needs or lower functioning or whatever you want to call it, there still needs to be that, that, belief in them and that mm -hmm. pushing towards progress. And, you know, like Lucas is never going to be able to go to college or drive, but that doesn't mean his life is less worthy or that there's anybody failed him or there's any failure. It's, it's just moving people forward. I hope you enjoyed that short snippet from podcast 212. If you did, you could listen to the whole podcast by checking um, below the link for um, 
for the whole podcast, or you can attend a free online workshop at marybarbera.com forward slash workshop to learn more about joining my online course and community where you can help your child or clients with autism. I'll see you right here next time.